Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is uh, Ubi Joseph from Cross River State. The testimony that what brought me here is a testimony. And this is the everlasting testimony. And this is the, a great testimony to the whole world. Okay? Amen. We, we were in prison for so many years. Amen. 11 years, we have some people 31 years, we have some people 20-something years. And we don't believe in prophecy. That's what made me to be here, to hear, to come here and see whether it's true, whether this man is really a man of God, whether he's from the Lord. Okay. That is what made me to come here. I born in a family, I don't believe prophecy. Start from my whole life, we don't believe in prophecy. We don't go to a prophetic, uh, prophetical world, uh, church, talk less for somebody to prophesy. Amen. Amen. So it all started last year, after so many years, 11 years, we all started last year. A 11, man, 11 years in what? In prison, in prison. 11 years in prison. It's okay. Um, that was on November last year. Uh, after I was uh, uh, forced, accused for what he has not, well, I did not do. So we, we, in the prison, a man came, a pastor, and since that day to today, we will not see that man again. And that man, and that's the first day the man came to that place. And when the man came, he said, whether uh, are we constantly watching the TV? He said, no. The man went out and bought a television and, uh, and decoder. He said, we should watch a messy TV. So we continue watching this TV. Power! Jam your hands together for Jesus. He said he, he said he grew up. He said he grew up from a foundation where they don't believe in prophecy. And so while he was in the prison for over eleven years, a man. I I know I know that will be a Mercy TV partner. He went there and bought television for them that they should be watching Mercy TV. Jam your hands together for Jesus once more. Yes, and so what happened? So we started praying with the man of God. Anytime the man of God will pray, we lay on on the television. Mm. We pray with him. So after some days, my uncle confessed in the village and died. He said that he's, a, he's the one that's behind all the problem. Why should I come to the village and build house and buy moto and give to people? Oh. So, because of that, as we pray with the man of God, my uncle will, my uncle will confess and send messages to prison and send people there. should come and beg me to tell the man of God not to pray with him, pray with me again. Power! That. Are you jamming your hand together for this God? Power! Shout Jesus! Jesus! Glory! Glory! So as we are praying with the man of God, then my uncle will confess. So in one day like this, an officer came and said that, which of the man of God do we pray with? I said, I don't know the man, but they say his name is Prophet uh, Jeremiah. So as we are praying with the man, so my uncle get out from the house and begin to confess in the old village. Mm. So he said, as we are praying with the man, somebody will stand on the back and begin to beat him. That should confess. Power! <laughs> so, instead of the three days, that my uncle went out and confessed. After confession, he shit and eat the shit and die on the road. Power! So after the death of the, that my uncle, I saw the man of God in the dream. The man just appeared. Since I don't know him before, he knew, this is my first time coming to worry, and I don't know this man before. He said, this is the time for you to go and serve the God of Jeremiah for the whole world. Power! So, after that, that was on Sunday. It's not up to some, about four days. We continue pray. So, after that, the governor of Cross River State, he has not ever happened like that before. Mm. 
And that day is not the day of free release. Mm. And that man, up to about four, three hundred and people that watched this uh, Mercy TV, the man just sent the name of 26 people around 4.30. So they were calling them. As they're calling them, my name was number six. Oh, power! Power! Glory! People of God, if you are celebrating God, you can do better than that. Shout glory! Glory! Wow. And so your name was the number six. Yes, sir. And so what happened? So after that, after they called the name, the people, the people that the governor said they should come and release. So we were thinking that it's Tramva. They say you should go and pack our load. After we packing our load, they say governor has set you people free. People of God, jump up your feet and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. As many of you that are listening to this testimony, every form of imprisonment the enemy has put to you, every form of cage your enemy has locked you in, I say because you are hearing this testimony, you are coming out by fire. In the name of Jesus. Victory is your portion. If you believe it, shout amen. Wow. Yes, our brother, we are listening. And so what happened? That is how we that is why we, how we caught our freedom. We are 26 people. But that is I'm coming here. First, for me to know whether this, this uh, mercy land is real or not. Okay. Second, for me to surrender my life and serve the Lord of the mercy land. Power! Jam your hands together for Jesus. Keep on clapping, 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 clap for Jesus. Glory! Our brother said... In the prison, while he was in the prison, you know, when he has come out of the prison, he said he wants to know whether this place is a real place. Maybe he thought he was dreaming that maybe Mercy Land is um, out of this physical world. Maybe he is in heaven. And now he wants to know whether it's real. Our brother, it is real. This is the Mercy Land you watched in the television. And as of many of us that are listening to this testimony, I pray that very difficult problem is turning to testimony now. In the name of Jesus. And our brother also said, he said he was not believing prophecy. My brother, it is the grace of revelation that brought you out of that prison. The grace of revelation. Something you, you, that revealed. And that is what means prophecy. Something that revealed. So it is grace of revelation that brought you out of that prison. And there is somebody here listening to this testimony. That same grace of prophecy. That same grace of revelation. Will reveal deep things. To you that will give you total freedom today in the name of Jesus. If that prayer is for you, shout a better amen. amen. So now, with all this, what is your advice to viewers all over the world? My advice to the viewers all over the world is not for them to lose, lose their hope. They should trust in God and also believe the prophecy. Mm -hmm. If I, the person who don't believe in the prophecy, but today I believe in the prophecy. Put I your hands together for Jesus. Don't be tired of clapping for this God. Amen. I saw see you were saying something. Yes. So I also believe in uh, uh, Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah. 
that God is sending him to this our generation to save people. We know. To help people. Put your hands together for Jesus. Voilà, cher Tessater, nous remercions le Seigneur pour la vie de ce jeune homme. Il est ici aujourd'hui pour dire merci au Seigneur. Vraiment, le Dieu du prophète Jérémie qui a manifesté miséricorde dans sa vie. Il était en prison pendant 11 ans. Alors, cher Tessater, Dieu a une affaire où il, était, il fut faussement accusé. Alors, euh, mais effectivement, cher Tessater, c'était Dieu à des puissances maléfiques qui agissaient euh, dans sa vie, des puissances maléfiques émanant de sa famille. Alors, il a dit que lorsqu'un jeune ministre de Dieu est venu le prêcher la parole en prison, et c'est alors qu'il les a introduits euh, à cette chaîne télé chrétienne, euh, Merci TV, c'est alors qu'ils ont commencé à regarder Merci TV. Il a dit qu'il était vraiment marqué par ce qui s'est passé à travers cette chaîne. Il a vu comment l'homme de Dieu fut utilisé comme un médium de liberté, de restauration dans la vie de plusieurs personnes, l'homme de Dieu qui donnait les messages prophétiques. Alors, alors, il a dit qu'effectivement, dû au background où il venait, il ne croyait pas vraiment à ce ministère prophétique parce qu'il était témoin de Jéhovah. Alors, il a dit, cher testateur, mais il a, dû à la sévérité de son problème, il a continué de prier avec l'homme de Dieu que le Seigneur puisse le faire miséricorde. Alors, c'est alors que, cher testateur, l'homme de Dieu est apparu dans les rêves et l'homme de Dieu s'est révélé à lui, bien fait qu'il ne le connaissait pas. Et l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui, lui disant que le Seigneur avait un plan pour lui et qu'il devait servir le Seigneur. Alors, c'est alors que par la suite, cher testateur, il fut vraiment libéré, vraiment juste en un laps de temps se passe dans moi, ce qu'il vraiment ne s'attendait pas. Euh, pratiquement près de 300 personnes furent interpellées à cette liberté. Il était au, euh, en sixième position. Alors il est ici aujourd'hui pour reconnaître la grandeur du Dieu de prophète Jérémie. Il a donné sa vie au Seigneur, disant que dès de ce jour, il servira le Seigneur pour le restant de sa vie. Apposons pour le Seigneur. Amen. Our brother will celebrate with you. We also rejoice with you and we also encourage you that this Jesus you have known, this God of revelation, just hold him very well. And even as you do, you will get more testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Say thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Jesus.